Hello guys, we are back in My Horse and Me 2 and as you can see, Blueberry is feeling very well. I've just taken care of him, so he is on top since we are going to enter our first competition today. So I'm heading off to the trailer and we are going to the very first eventing trial. So first of all we're going to do the dressage, then the jumping and then the cross country. So I think I'm just gonna click it, yeah. And then we see this loading screen, and it's going to take a couple of seconds for the game to load. And then we are off! We have a great turnout for this afternoon's dressage competition. Both riders and spectators are eagerly anticipating the upcoming event. Here comes the next contender! Take yeah. a look at that couple! What a great looking horse! So now it's the same thing as in the dressage training. I have 13 different uh, movements to complete, as you can see down at the left corner. Uh, because for each movement you can have a maximum of 10 points. So of course then I can figure out that it's 13 different movements. And now I need to do this strange half pass. I just need to keep an eye on the keys so they don't change, because even though it might seem very rhythmic, uh, there always is some sort of change towards the end of it. So let's see here. Another half pass. It's up. Left. Right. Up. No, I'm guessing left. Right. Left. Yes. Yeah, so I need to keep an eye on this to make sure that I don't mess up. But we're already through five different movements now. Heading on to number seven. I think it's kind of nice that you can see her hand move whenever I steer the horse. So you can see now when I slightly move the horse to the right, she is extending her hand to show the horse the way. I think that's a nice detail. That's easily earned 10 points. And there we go! Fantastic! What a horse! And what a performance! It was a privilege to watch this show. And yeah. I so maybe not the most amazing dressage trial in gaming history, but well, it's dressage. I think that's an issue in horse games overall. Like, it's difficult to make some sort of dressage trial which is really fun. I think the, the one that I enjoy the most is the one from. How is it called in English? It's, in Swedish we call it horses. I think it's called Pippa Fanel the Golden Stirrup Challenge in English. So now let's go on to the jumping competition. We can pick the cross country one, but the jumping one is supposed to be after this one, so let's do that one. Welcome to Switnica County. Competition is fierce this morning, but the show jumpers are ready to strut their stuff. Here comes the next contender. So the fences are quite low this time. They, are, they will get slightly higher as we continue on, but they will not be very big. Like It's not like the first My Was and Me where you actually jumped the same height as you do in the Grand Prix jumping at the end. Good it's gonna be team. around this height, slightly higher. Whoops. I'm trying to take some shortcuts just to save Good me some time. Team. I don't think that I will have any... Oops! Uh, well, yeah, that didn't work out. 
I don't think there will be any major difficulties what I was about to say, <laughs> but apparently, yes, it will be. Uh, because I just like be to take some risks here. Oh. We've seen the best of I think I should do this. The last round was solid. Perhaps even a silver medal performance. Yeah, let's redo this. But we did get a new item. But I will do this again. Yeah, restart. Take a look at that couple. What a great looking horse. I think that jump. I did get some plus points because of my time. But I will try to not be so off center. No, I'm too late. That's the issue. I'm jumping way too late. I just need to find the rhythm. Good speed. Still going at it too late. Take a look at that couple. What a great looking horse. That one's good. And if we go out in the cross country field and I continue to jump like this, we will be able to make it. There we go. So I need to find the rhythm and start Good. doing this correctly now when we're at the basics. I usually go for the amateur jumping because I like having it the way that is in Good. the first game. The games are very different, but I still really like the thing where you don't really have to concentrate that much on how you approach the obstacle. Good. I really like to be able to just approach it and go. Incredible jump. Oh, there we go. Now we did it. That's a gold medal contender for sure. Yeah, gold. Nice. So now let's go for the cross country, and I'm a bit worried because I think the cross country is quite difficult when you get up to the high speeds. So. Okay, so like mid cross country, my game crashed. <laughs> so let's try this again. Uh, I have no idea what happened, my game just shut down. So hopefully it will not do that this time, but it went quite well. Like I didn't really have any issues with the fences, so I hope that this will it's work out good. Here in Poland in the beautiful countryside around Swidnika County. Welcome to this National Equestrian Cross Country event. Here comes the next contender. Okay, let's go. I always am a bit worried when I go at this fast rate because I think it's kind of difficult to just move around moving this fast. But I think this might be easier than I thought it would be. Because I thought that I really would have difficulties. But I think that the cross country is easier than the show jumping as well. Like, I think it is. So, we'll see. Good speed. Good speed. Okay, so now we passed the point I got to last time. And this is the last fence. Why is it so short? I want to do more. This was fun. This rider is a top contender and makes it look easy. That's a gold medal contender for sure. Yeah, but gold. Yay. So let's head back home because I think we'll see some sort of cutscene. And we got some gloves. Nice. Yeah, awesome. So now we have a gold medal in all three disciplines. So we are going to head back home and see what's going to happen there. Oh yeah, we got a trophy. A trophy. Trophy? Trophy. Uh, as well. <laughs> so when we get back home, we are going to have a look in our room to see it. Because it will be displayed in the trophy stand. Or well, the trophy cabinet. So now we can proceed to advanced training and then some more advanced competitions. Nice! And also, yes, this is a game which will be present in the big paddock, like for the free riding paddock. And I really, really like this mini game. I think it will be a bit difficult. I'm not sure, because I usually don't 
like have the professional level for jumping. I usually go to amateur level, as I said previously. So we're gonna see how that will work out. But I really like this game. It's just gonna be fun to try again. I haven't done it in years. And a videos, which we will have a look at in the house. But I think it's time to go back now. Yeah. So let's return to Green Valley. He ran a great race in Poland. Sure did. Head high and eyes bright. But you get some of the credit too. Well, I didn't fall off. Definitely not. That last cross country, it looked like you were ready to jump off, grab the bridle, and start pulling. I get kind of intense when I'm competing. If you didn't, you'd be wearing red ribbons, not blue ones. I can't wait to see how you do in Australia. Red ribbons? How awful. You can go with my outfit. There you are. I had to come and congratulate you. Why so happy, Caitlin? If she keeps riding like that, you're out of a job. So what? The more our horses win, the easier it'll be for Roger. And for your mom, right? Let's hope so. It's been a really tough year for her. Hey, that's enough, Brad. Brad? Ugh. It's not my name. It's Brandon, okay? <laughs> I think you found his soft spot. Where are they? Mr. Brewster needs a rub down. One of the dogs nipped Super Bingle. <gasps> Here she comes. Quick. No. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, but red ribbons doesn't go with my outfit. Girl, have you seen your hair? Oh well. So, let's head into the house. I wanna see the trophy thingy cabinet. Yeah, so here you can see the trophy. Awesome. And we can have a look and see the new things we unlocked. So here we got this pink jacket. I think we got that a bit earlier, right? And now we have this one from the competition. I'm not a fan of the leaves. I like the color though. Mm. And we got green pants. Did we get these ones as well? I don't remember when we got them. I know these ones we got in the last episode. Let's keep these for now. And these, this one was in the last episode too, right? And these ones are new. Yeah, we're going for that. Oh, I forgot to change my pants back. There we go. And uh, now for dressage. Did we get anything here? Yeah, this one is new. I like that one. Let's go with it. And yeah, we got the breeches for here too. Uh, yeah, and also the boots. So they're unlocked like universally. Nothing new there. Yeah, let's go with that. I want white breeches. Anything here? Nah. Only the same stuff as previously. What about casual? I think we had all of this before, right? Maybe. I think this one was from a gift. Oh, yeah, this one's new. I'm gonna use it. But I do like the white ones, I think they look cool. Yeah, okay, we're done. Done! And I want to have a look at the video we unlocked. I don't wanna change my outfit. There we go. Uh, videos. So I think this is an FEI video. So let's see what this one looks like. So what you saw there was an eventing horse doing a dressage trial and very common for eventing horses, not eventing riders, is that the dressage is their weakest point. They're usually very good uh, at the cross country and decent in the show jumping, but they don't tend to be as good in the dressage because like, the dressage is such a small part of it all, so they tend to overlook it a bit. But it's not like that horse wasn't badly ridden in any way. Like it was a really well ridden horse, and it was a very nice dressage um, program, I think it is, dressage trial.
Sometimes it's difficult knowing what you should say because, of course, English is not my first language. Uh, Blueberry stats looks okay, so let's go for the training to begin with. So we are done with all the basic trainings, but we now have the advanced training. Advanced research, advanced, advanced jumping and advanced cross country. So of course, advanced research is what we should begin with. Okay, we're gonna learn some more research figures. We're gonna follow the marks and watch the gate. And we're gonna have a look at the PF, which is wrongly spelt. In English, the PF is like P-I-A-F-F-E. As far as I know. Okay, let's try. Whoa! Whoops! Yeah, sorry, that went really fast. I should get a 9 from that, should I? But I should get 40 points anyways, I should be able to do this. Keep going. Like the walk is very difficult to mess up. <laughs> it's so slow. But maybe it's time for the PF now? Yeah. I don't know why the head is moving back and forth on the horse. It has such wonky legs. <laughs> oh, horsey. Congratulations. You have oh, nice! Look at the camo vest, I like that one. So, next training. I'm doing the show jumping. And I hope I'll survive it. <laughs> Okay, uh, the obstacles are higher. And the mark in front of the obstacle is shorter. Nice! Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> doesn't feel that much worse, do you think? It doesn't feel like the obstacles are higher. Because they are very low, as I told you previously. Like They won't get very high in this game. One more. Great. Nice. Congratulations. You have passed mm. the training. Back boots. Yeah. I think we can have use of them. Next training then. Just go at it while we're here. So now we need to collect stars again. Okay. At least 50 stars. I wonder how many they are. Oops. No. I thought that I would be able to do a gallop here, but nope. Here then. Great. Nope. Okay. I'm good with a canter. <laughs> I am. Uh, because then I don't need to worry too much about speed. Great. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Just beautiful. This isn't as difficult as I remember it to be. <laughs> so I'm very grateful for that. Great. But time is looking good. Stars are looking good. That's right. Keep it on. So far. I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> Keep going. What 
Was it all the stars? Whoa! Well done, Esme. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Ooh, pink. Me like. Advanced training is complete, so now we can enter national competitions. Awesome. We're not gonna leave yet. We have some other things to do before we go away. Like, I wanna race with Caitlyn. The heck are you feeding them? I'd say they all have colic. It's not colic. I'm careful with the diet. This is different. Oh, with all those supplements and vitamins you're giving them, it's no surprise they aren't well. You don't know what you're talking about. You should have sold this place when McDunbird offered to buy it. You're too old to run it. Roger knows what he's doing. He spent a lot of time in the winter circle. That's ancient history. That's a load of fertilizer, Cheryl. Cheryl, could we take one of the horses to the center at the university? Use my company lab. It's better, and I'd be happy to pay for it. Where's my old buddy, Roger? My, Cheryl, you are still looking lovely. Basil, what can we do for you? Talk Roger into an early retirement. Look, I'll help you get your stock tested. No need to see the animals suffer. For all your faults, Basil, you're a real gentleman. Ah, you must be Emma, the new rider. You are doing very well, young lady, but watch out. You'll be up against my son next. Well, he better be good. Oh, he is. Sure money's on him. And he's handsome, like his dad. <laughs> Let's get Roger's old nags in the trailer. That's okay, Emma. At least his company has first-class facilities. Who is that? He seemed nice, I guess. That's Basil McDunbar. He's been trying to buy out Roger, and he's got the green to do it. But he wants to help the horses. He used to race against Roger and lose. Now he's in fertilizers and richer than Midas. I don't think he's forgotten. Okay, let's see if history can repeat itself. I'll be riding against his son in Australia. That's a bunch of fertilizer. Oh, Brandon. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look and see how Blueberry's doing. I think we should be able to do the mini game, and then I can care for him before we go to the next competition. We won't do the next competition today, though. I think that this episode will be quite long in that case, so we're just going to do the mini game, and then I think we're gonna wrap it up. But I really want to try out the mini game again. It's been a very, very long time. Oh yeah, we should have some gifts around too. I haven't seen any yet. On there. Oh! There it was! What are you doing hiding over there? Yes! Some leg protectors! Brown one as well. Perfect. I think there are a black pair as well, but that might be for later in the game. There's another one. Awesome. Can we... Nope. I need to be more straight on. Wait a minute. Was it something pink over there? No. Just flowers. Sorry. Easily distracted. I really, really like that you can jump from a trot. I love that. Hmm. Green helmet. Okay. Uh, I did see another gift over here, so let's take that one too. There it is. Now we need to find the... Oh, I see the challenge. There's a balloon around to our left. Oh, nice. I like the look of that one. So let's cross the bridge and go towards the game. And this is kind of fun because then you can see the actual jumping position of the player, which is not as good from the side as it looks like from behind. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> but here it is. The, whenever you see a balloon like this in here, you know that it's a minigame. So now I'm gonna press space to race with Caitlyn. Uh, okay. Uh, da, da, da. Oh yeah, so the only thing I need to do is to press the two arrow keys. Okay, let's try this. 
I'm just gonna press them like really quickly back and forth and we're gonna see what happens. Caitlyn has the same horse as me, but she does not wear a helmet. That's not good, Caitlyn. I wonder if you can hear me now because it feels like this is really, really loud. <laughs> Look at that jumping position, it's so horrendous. What happened to our neck? And also the toes, like heels down, girl! Can't keep you balanced if you do it like that. She's also pulling the horse up by the reins. Like the hind legs of the horse, though. Yeah. Flex those legs. <laughs> I feel like the animators really tried, but that did not really work out. <laughs> Yeah, so apparently we are winning this. Yeah, we won! We got a pink saddle. Looks kind of Barbie-ish, but well, could be fun. I do want a pink bridle to match it with though. So yeah, we were successful and I got my gift, well my reward. So let's return to Green Valley. Yeah, so we're done in here for now. We can't do more here. I don't think there's any other gift boxes around. Oh, we just turned up here now. Nice. So we're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna have a look at Blueberry's stats again. I think that he will need some care. Yeah, he needs some feeding and also some just regular caring. But I think that we have done enough for today. So in the next episode we are going to care for Blueberry to make sure that he's on top and so you guys can see more of the horse care. And then we're going to, I think it's South Australia, to, con to participate in one of the contests. So that's it for today. If you liked the episode don't forget to leave a like down below and maybe comment something and tell me what you thought or if you have anything you just want to share. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see more fun horse games coming every single week. And that's all for now, so I really hope to see you all next time.